Hi there. So in this in this video, I'm going to um, just give you a good uh, overview of topology uh, in ArcGIS Pro. This is actually 2.8, um, but the um, obviously it's the, the same for previous versions, um, uh, and also uh, very close to what you do in ArcMap as well. So so um, so like I said, it's just a high level demonstration really. Uh, so you can see what all the steps are uh, in order to create um, uh, a, a topology um, uh, with rules, a rule set. So to get started, you, you, you have to have whatever you want involved in topology, i.e. rules such as a line must intersect um, uh, with another line, uh, but a point being on that intersection junction, or there can't be any gaps. In any of my polygons, that sort of thing. Those rules uh, you can only create them with a feature data set. It and, and the feature data set just view that as like a container. It sort of contains all the all your um, feature classes, topology, and all this sort of thing. Um, it's sort of all bundled in, into one thing. So you can't create a topology outside of a data set. So even though I've got, for example, uh, these Lester postcodes. And that's actually one I want to um, use in my rules. I want to look for. I want to make sure there's no gaps. Um, I've I've got to create a feature data set. So that's the first thing I'll do. Uh, and I'll call it feature data. Let's call it um, topo check or something. Um, and just run that. I'm just leaving the coordinate system. Deal with that as you as you, as needs be. So now I've got my uh, feature data set I'm going to put my postcodes in there so I'll import um, feature class uh, no I can import lots feature classes I'll just drag these postcodes into there uh, output is yep it's that data set output name is let's just call them P codes the if I click on fields I can, I can do a few things here, such as um, set aliases and the properties and, and, and that sort of thing. But but you, you often get that in a lot of geoprocessing tools anyway, so um, feel free to play around with that as needs be. Um, but this is just a quick overview of uh, topology. So I'm, I'm just taking these Lester postcodes and dumping them into this features data set. That's all, that's all I'm doing. I've just sort of moved them from one place to another. So when I um, click on top of check here, you can see I've got this P codes underneath this uh, data set and it's added it to the map. What, I, what I'm going to do is just remove um, uh, one of these polygons just to force a gap. So I'm going to make a hole basically in all these polygons. So I'm going to, um, so I'm in edit. Uh, I will, um, that's probably, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just do one because then it's obvious it's this one here and then just hit delete. Uh, hit save, just say yes and um, back on the map. We've definitely got a gap there uh, and got these other postcodes around. So there's a very clear gap. That was the, the point of sort of what I did just then. So I kind of want to make some topology rule that detects this gap. In, in, in a future video, I will, will do a much more complex set of, of topology rules, much more complex. But this is just going to get you cracking with, with um, showing you a basic rule, and then you can um, understand how it all fits together. So, so in order to do uh, a, a topology sort of rule set, you right click on your data set and say new topology. You can see how there's other things you can add as well into this feature data set which aren't available in, in um, uh, upper level sort of thing at the geodatabase level. So what, what I'm, only, I'm only working with one feature class but of course there could be many. Uh, I'll just click next. What's the rule I want? Well on these postcodes um, the rule is and you can see by default you get all these uh, uh, rules available. There is a toolbox called create uh, sorry called add topology rules 
and uh, that, that, that sort of gives you um, additional ones. Um, but th th this is sort of main stuff here through the wizard. And I've only, I've only got this one feature class uh, postcodes that I'm working with. Uh, but with other feature classes, it would allow you to add lots down here on the left. But like I said, I'll cover that in another video. So I'm, I'm just going to go for must not have gaps. Simple as that. Go to next. The rest of it is all fine. Don't care. Press finish. So that will create the topology rule. And, it, and you'll see how you got this little icon here. When I hover above it, it says topo check topology. And it's file geodatabase topology. So, and that's a point, I'm only using a file GDB here. Uh, so that's within the data set, but it's not active. It's not, it's not sort of on the map or anything. So you simply drag it onto your map. Again, not much happens, but we do get all this stuff that you can quite clearly talks about sort of errors, et cetera, et cetera. And that's actually what we want to see with this data set is what are the errors, errors based on my topology rules. In order to work those out and to fix them, you go to edit and then just make sure that on the topology drop down here that you've selected your topology uh, rule set that you've created. OK, so I'll click on that. And then once once that's there, you can click on error inspector. And this gives you your whole, well, as it sounds, an inspector uh, sort of interface so you can look at your data. Uh, again, nothing's happened. You can't sort of see anything. No, no, nothing's gone on yet, but um, it will do when you hit this validate button. Um, and just before I do that, notice how when you highlight, when you hover over validate, it says validate in current extent. So, so that's important, really, you, you know, because if you were sort of zoomed in here and validating some line network or even what I'm doing here, you wouldn't actually see it. It wouldn't pop up. So zoom out, show your whole area, zoom to extent or whatever, and then hit validate. So there we go. It's it's highlighted um, what what it deems as as an issue. Now beyond the outside area, and we could have some kind of uh, sort of area of interest defined here. Um, it thinks that um, that might be a gap, but the main one when I click, you'll see it highlights in yellow. And that is absolutely what, what we're talking about. So if I um, if you look on the right hand side here, so I've clicked on that one, go to details, get a bit of info about it. But fix is the main thing you want. Um, what we'll do on this is create feature. And what it will do is automatically fill. So if you're watching it there, click, click create feature. And now it's filled. It's been fixed. A key thing to also to record, sort of think about when this happens is that you can um, obviously force various bits of data to be associated, domains, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, but but all I've done is just filled it, and it and it will come up with some default um, values. In fact, it'll be um, um, a sort of null for the postcode, for example. Um, but that's data attribution, that's another story. Um, but the point is it's filled the gap. So I've still got this one, which is that sort of outside area, but actually that, that's fine. That's just the sort of border. I haven't got any area of interest sort of defined. Um, so I, I don't care, I'll just mark that as an exception. And then it puts this green tick by it. So it's all um, good as far as it's concerned. You could hit validate if you want again. Um, but as you can see, it's just got this um, one on the outside, uh, which, which is absolutely valid. You, you, that's understandable. Uh, and now, um, and we could perhaps increase tolerance actually of the search, which would prevent that. But the key thing is it's now filled that, which means it's made an edit. So you click on save. Click on yes. It's now saved. We can just close that. Go back to normal map, and uh, and in fact we d we don't even we we can uncheck the sort of topology um, display, should we call it, um, uh, uh, as needed. But I'm I'm just going to remove it because I don't want it anymore. So as far as I'm concerned, these um, postcodes are all uh, absolutely um, fine now. And um, I can't remember which it was that one, wasn't it? Yeah, you see, so you can see all these nulls here. Um, 
because that's what I've just created. And it used this, this sort of selected object, which was the gap, um, as the dimensions for the geometry, and it inserted a new record. So there, there we go. So that's a pretty quick, rapid view of topology. I hope that um, uh, is useful to you. Um, a key thing to remember about it, like I said, I've said a few key things actually, but, but the main thing is you have to have a feature data set um, in order to, to, to do stuff. And anything that's related to your topology rules, so you might have other features, points, lines, etc., will all have to be within the data set in order to create your uh, topology rules. So I hope you find that useful. Thank you.